Yes, where we are. Where are we? We're on the Love Them Knives YouTube channel. Yes, we are. LTK here. And I had a viewer. And they said, Have you seen that rake knife? You know, R-U-I-K-E. The 128. And I'm going, No, I haven't. But I have now. He says, you know what? I got that in my hand. That is one heck of a knife. And you know, hey, it's not a $500 knife. But I'll sell this one to you for $500. <laughs> okay, never mind. It's a frame lock flipper. And that's... Man, that's 50-60%, isn't it? Lock up on that dog. Steel, you know, it's not titanium or anything. And it's Sandvik steel. You know, it's the 14C28N. Stainless. Pretty much non-corrosive. Non-corrosion. Corrosion resistant. Let's say it like that. P128SF. And all these numbers here, don't pay attention. That's secret CIA stuff. <coughs> In any case, yes, and it's the Ruike, Rike, Rake, Reek brand knife. Did I go through all the iterations? Did I leave something out? Because we, I mean, for months we've been arguing about this thing. And one of the viewers says, I think they want to keep this kind of, <laughs> you know, going. It's giving them some free pub. Just people uh, trying, to, trying to go down that uh, pronunciation road. But in any case... Harpoon type style blade, which I'm a sucker for big time. Really nice high hollow grind. How's that for you? And eh, piercing? Oh, I think so. And you got some reinforcement up here on that grind thing. And slicing? Oh, yeah, you could do that. And where's your contact patch? Ah, it's pretty good for a flipper. Not bad. I mean, there's some flipper knives. I mean, swear to God, they're like this, you know. And not that they won't slice, but I mean, you know, if you just got a flat surface, then you, you're, you you know, right? You got to start back here and go forward or, you know, get off the edge. But this one, no, not bad, not bad. Good action. I don't know. Every time I think of these knives, I think about real steel knives. I really do. I just, I always think about real steel. Crap, and I got one clear across the room the sea eagle love it it's a great knife <sighs> in any case that is some nice action isn't it man i know they're gonna be a little heavy because it's a steel handle but you know what this is a good size knife and you know it's contoured I mean, it's not fancy. It doesn't have a lot of like milled lines and design work and all that kind of stuff. But I mean, there's something just attractive about this simple, just simple, simplistic design. Of course, you got this to go forward when it's open to keep the lock bar from disengaging here. So that's cool. Disengage that and disengage the lock bar. And I can do it left handed, folks. How's that? Can we flip it left-handed? Oh, yeah, baby, because it rolls. It rolls good. Check the pocket clip out. You got two dogs in there holding it down. It's milled out area, so it ain't going anywhere anyhow. But you got two screws holding that baby in. And you know what? Kind of like the pocket clip. I know it kind of ends on an up, and then it rolls over, which is my favorite kind of style you know I don't like them some you know just keep hanging up but when they bend over like that it's nice isn't it fits in the pocket good and it's not overly um stiff just about the right tension wow check that out right so this was my first adventure into rake into rake I'm sorry rake knives was the 121 and I'll tell you what bearings are wonderful on this knife green g10 uh, I, I can't tell you how many viewers 
have finally got their knife, their hands on their knives on one of these hands, these hands on one of these knives, and gone. Oh yeah, okay, I get you, I get you. I hear what you're saying. Um, wow, almost a fidget toy, really. And you know, these are budget knives. I mean, these are not expensive knives. Not at all. Like under fifty bucks. Forty something. Yeah, let me pull some paperwork, see if I if I can give you some insight on that. See, the 128 SF, 3.6 inch satin. $49.95. I told you it was in the 40 something <laughs> at a nickel. Ouch. But eight and a half inches overall. Like we said, the Sandvik steel, satin grind, plain edge, you know. Stainless, blah, blah, blah. 5.5 ounces. Eh, it's not too overly heavy. Not for a knife that's eight and a half inches long. That's not too bad. That'll work. Flipper, frame lock, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Deep carry clip, which we did not mention. It's great that uh, I just flashed this up for your enjoyment. And yeah, everyday carry. Of course, this is a Chinese knife company. So I like it. Paperwork kind of reminds me of a couple of points. First of all, they call that deep carry. It's deeper than some. I mean, deep carry to me is like kind of when this, this loop here is even with the top here. But, okay. I get you. It's fairly deep. Man, that action's really nice. I don't know. I haven't taken one of these apart. I don't think I've taken that 121 apart. I don't think I did. And you know, I usually don't fix them if they ain't broke. And this thing just phew, so smooth, but it 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 you kind of go, are those needle bearings? Cause they sure feel like it. And that's what gets used all the time on the real steel knives. So this just feels so similar to the action on the real steel knives, which are great knives as well. And these little imposters have come in on the heels of real steel and they're doing some cool stuff. I like that. I like that. Let's see how big it really is. Eight and a half supposedly overall. So is it? Yeah, pretty close. Eight and three eighths to eight and a half overall. Blade length, well, 90 millimeters. So that's three and a half inches. Okay, yeah, that's, that's not bad. That's not bad. Not, you know, well, okay, eight and a half. We can say that. Not bad. So, how's that to the, maybe the grip? Let's put the grip down here. Maybe just a skosh bigger, actually, and it is. I think the grip's like eight inches overall. I know the Manex is, so let's take a look at that. There you go. Yeah, bigger knife than the Manex. Yeah, hey, let's get Hollywood out here. Come here, Hollywood. Yeah, the paramilitary. So, uh, you know, it's it's just in that class. I mean, it, it may be a skosh bigger here or there, and it is. But it's it's in that class, very EDCable, not overly large. Let's just say that. But yeah, it's right in there. Let's look at the blade stock. Let's get this out of the way first. Yeah, I'm saying the blade stock's a little thicker on the rake. Hey, it's almost fall. You might need a rake. Say, honey, hey, you know. With all the yard work, I thought I'd get a rake. She goes, oh, great. And uh, just fool her into buying you a knife. 0.135 of an inch, so three and a half millimeters. Yeah, I mean, you wanna, just for shits and giggles, what's the millimeters on this? Well, okay. It looked bigger. No, it's, it's the same. Same thickness as the para too, so as far as blade goes, man, that's some action right there. That is some action. 
I don't know if I'm really big on these necessarily. I don't see myself using them, but I think this is pretty out of the way. It's it's not like a roto lock that automatically engages and you have to keep oh, lion steel stuff and this and that. Ah, uh, no. This, it just, you know, you can click it out of the way and you never have to worry about it. If you want to engage it, you can do so purposefully. Okay, and disengaging it's real easy. Like that, actually, much better. Much better. Contoured handles, nicely done. And one thing we haven't talked about, oh, we have talked about it, but we haven't put it on camera, is the weight. 5.6 ounces, so it's, you know, that's okay. I can live with that. 158 grams. That's not that bad. Now, it's heavier than a lot of the comparable knives, right? I mean, Spyderco, check it out. 3.8, the paramilitary, okay? Benchmade grip. 4.2, okay? And we're not even going to weigh this one because it won't register on the scale. <laughs> it is like nothing. It's like 2.8. I gained weight, damn it. I have to put it back on the treadmill. 2.9. So, yeah, but this is steel. I mean, well, this isn't all that much steel because there's a lot of G10 in here, but this is the compact fossil. About the same size. And 4.1. So, bench made grip and, and this fossil. About the same deal. See what I'm saying? Both got good bearings, though. Yeah, it's a bigger knife. Much bigger than this. So yeah, see if we got anything else on the table. See, okay, try the Vanguard series cane from Kaiser. Now you're talking about the exact same size, right? Both steel bolsters, steel liners, G10, all steel. And what are we looking to do? 5.8? Bango, bango. So, that's heavier. Just right at the same, pretty much, though. Any case, so, I think we've done enough weighing. That is just, you know, can't remember the viewer that said this, but, you know, check this one out. It's really a, a gem, and it really feels good in the hands. Reverse grip. What do you think? I think it's good. How do you disengage this thing? Very nicely. You've got to pass through here. Easily push that lock bar aside real nice and easy. Wow. Any blade play? Nope. Any lock rock? Nope. Nothing. It's great. How about is it centered? Oh, yeah. Yes, it is. Action's great. I like this. These things come with kind of an outer. Here's your P128 SF. Ready to make it. Yes, it is. Ready to break it. So here's your box. Pretty much a crush proof box that you get. And then you get, I mean, they do this crazy thing. Okay, so they, this is, you know, it rolls through here and then they they tie it through the pocket clip so this thing is attached to your pocket clip which is i don't get it but it is okay so you get a little bit of paperwork saying here's your warranty good luck no actually since you're buying it from a usa seller i mean return it if you don't like it you know or if it's broken or something's wrong you know that kind of thing so there you go warranty card and a fitted box Bing, bang, boom. I mean, that's a nicer box than, than a lot of knife manufacturers that give you a knife that costs like $250 and it's not that nice. So just saying. Now, you don't get any microfiber cloth. I guess that's, I'm thinking of the real steel. You get a microfiber cloth with them. Not this. Piles and piles of gear. Crush-proof box. 
outer sleeve just to make sure your inner box doesn't get a lot of shelf wear and a heck of a knife a heck of a knife nice you know the only thing i think would improve this knife is if it was five dollars yeah <laughs> okay and then i woke up but still Sandvik steel this is, I mean, you know, I think I'm thinking of other knives that are in the 40 something dollar range that the action is not near as good. Uh, might be an MOV steel instead of the Sandvik. Um, I don't know. I, I just, I'm still, you know, I've had a couple viewers and one in particular that, yeah. And I'm getting more and more feedback on the on the rake knives. Actually, this this little dog here was like 34, 35 bucks on Blade HQ. So, yeah, I mean that was like I said, this one. Yeah, you might be able to catch it on Smoky Mountain or some other place, um, wherever they sell these for a little bit less. I like it. I do. Thank you for joining me. Put your comments below. Subscribe if you'd like to. And just, come on, man. Get our next table sale. It's going to be good. There's always one coming up every month. And I'm trying to figure out, should I put it at the 15th of the month or the 1st of the month? I've been bitched at because I didn't have it at the 1st of the month. So I might flip it and try and point them at the at the first of the month but right now uh i've been doing them kind of in the middle of the month any case table sales are good giveaways are great but they're for subscribers only and you know what we do here we love them knives so stay sharp